All right, so I only half paid attention to that because Kaiji is really, really excited by something. And we get into chapter three, the K dish. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be honest. I think this is probably a good place to stop, seeing as we are, um, as we are at four o'clock, and you know, new chapter, you know, new, uh, new, you know, new stuff, new story, new dudes to fight, etc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go back to the menu. So yeah, hammer fight. Um, I really like the idea of hammer fight. I think it's very cool. Uh, very, uh, it's very satisfying when you get the trajectory just right. It feels like it was really just you who did it because it's like entirely deterministic physics. So you can really just line up a shot and be like pow, and like once it, and once it connects, you're just like ah, so good. What well, it's it's a great 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 idea. This one guy says, but Hammerball, um, Hammerball have to wait. As much fun as that sounds, I don't even think this game necessarily needs Hammerball to for to get like, you know, my like I, I approve very strongly of the concept, and Hammerball sounds even more fun. So like maybe we'll get to Hammerball another time, maybe in a bonus stream or something like that. But uh, honestly, it's really the little things that I think that this game just needs to kind of sit down for a few minutes and say and think really hard about like did i really want to do that like there's like 50 different weapons you know that's a lot of weapons and in a single player game i guess it doesn't really matter for multiplayer i think that would have mattered a lot of just like i'm sure some weapons would have been just like straight up better than others i mean they are already um but like the idea that you have to kind of more or less farm for them um, and like you have to worry about what you're carrying into battle so that you can bring one home with you I don't know it just it, it seems like it puts your motivation it, it kind of splits your motivation and from one from like just winning and doing well and like using the weapons in really really cool and interesting ways and just like finding weapons that are expendable and like you know leaving them behind and like I think that that mechanic would be cool if it was set in a different kind of venue where like there's all these weapons all over the map and you can lose a weapon and just be weaponless for a while and you got to like retreat and go find a different one and you know, got to bring maybe you could like bring someone else a weapon that they like if you're if it's a multiplayer like that's a really cool mechanism it just doesn't fit right now with with this uh with this type of game system uh it's like i can see potential there it's just that they didn't really uh it, it's misused in this case um, still got no idea what the glory is. Like, I mean, like, you're probably correct, Spoldergeist. It's just kind of there to let you know how far you've gotten. But you already have something like that. You know, chapter three, or, yeah, chapter third, Kadish. Like, it tells you how far you are. So, like, the, uh, the increasing number doesn't seem to, uh, it, it doesn't seem to serve any purpose. And I'm like, here's all these skulls. I guess they're just like, like a kill counter, you know? That's kind of cool, whatever. But like the glory, I don't even know what that even means. Like it's just like an arbitrary number. So like, unless that becomes relevant elsewhere, like I, I, <laughs> I don't know what to, I don't know what it's for. But there's a, there was a lot of that kind of stuff. That The game also gets really gets lost in its theme sometimes where it, it tries to describe something in terms of its lore in ex, like rather than in terms of its uh, uh, in terms of its mechanics which or it, like, you know, it's, its mechanical purpose which is the part that I the player care about. You know like I'm sure these things are really interesting and like you know like maybe the these like lore type things could have been put in like a like a uh, like a lore book or something like that, which would have been maybe cool to read just for the sake of it. But like I gotta know what this th what this shit does in the game for me to make a decision about it. Uh, Spalter guys, yeah, so you so you so like you think long maps you have to traverse through rather than arena ones to fight some enemies in for the low level. Think those are better. Um, I think that that would be where the weapon switching and weapon disarming kind of mechanism, I think that's where that would shine. I think that's where that mechanism belongs. I don't think it belongs in this one. I think that this game is fine as it is, 
But like you probably need to get rid of the whole like weapon swapping thing. Uh, or at least make the weapon swapping make more sense in the context of very, very short arena battles. It doesn't make sense for you to have to manage a long-term collection of weapons for all these little short-term one-off battles. You know, that sort of thing. Um, the collection of weapons to unlock, like, the, 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 all the different weapons being in the game also motivated there being, like, gold pickups, which, like... I think that that could have been a little bit, uh, a little bit made into like maybe just like straight up points. Like I thought that the coins at first maybe they were points, um, and like I had to kind of put myself at risk to get more points, and maybe that would have been a cool like, you know, a skill modifier of like, oh, you got a lot of points because that like you got many good hits, and then you were able to just follow up on those hits to collect the coins before they went away, you know, so that kind of thing. I like Kaiji as he moves. Like, Kaiji wants to be keyboard cat, and he moved my mouse. Um, so, yeah, like, a lot of little... Like, the broad strokes are kind of cool. I like the I like the premise of the game. But I think, ultimately, there's they made a lot of little decisions that they thought were cool, but I think, ultimately, didn't fit. And, of course, the story... Like... Again, having the story in the game puts, like, weird motivations in the game. Like, the, the, if, if they hadn't had the story in the game, they wouldn't have had any motivation to let you skip levels, which is basically skip playing the game, which, like, I, I thought that I was here to play a game, you know? So, like, I, I like stories, don't get me wrong, but I think that in the, in, in the case of... In the context of a game that you can win or lose, um, like, it's... It's kind of like the game is holding the story hostage, and I don't think you need to do that. I think if you want a story, you'll just watch a movie, and I think that's that's why a lot of people who like stories don't go for video games because, like, they don't want to have to earn their story, and they shouldn't have to earn their story. There's no reason for that. That's like having to earn your story is like a weird video game tradition that we made up, and we've always done, uh, and so that so we think it's okay because. Like, we've always done it. And we just kind of justify it in our heads. I, there's no reason for that. Like, let the story just kind of be its own thing. So, I think that kind of sums up my thoughts on Hammer Fight in general. Again, really cool concept. And a huge, huge shame it couldn't be multiplayer. It seems like the... Like, the developer wanted there to be multiplayer. I'm not going to hold it against him that he couldn't do it, because, like, if he wanted to do it, then I'm sure the reason why he didn't do it was because, like, he just didn't have any resources. So I'm not going to hold that against him. Uh, just a real shame it couldn't have happened. And I hope that uh, whatever proceeds he's getting from this game maybe go into making it a multiplayer version. Maybe that could be the key to getting him a lot more copies of this sold. Because maybe that's the reason why. Because it seems like it should be a multiplayer game, but it isn't one. So, there, so that's kind of how I feel about that. Um, were there any other things, Smolder Guys? Because you brought this up as a game that you wanted me to play. Was there Were there any other things that you wanted my commentary on? Like, different... Uh, um, uh, different things that you... Like, you, mes you mentioned, like, design decisions. I didn't get to the thing where, like, there's the dudes that one-hit kill you. That does seem kind of bullshitty, especially from range. But, like, in a single-player game, like, I guess it's kind of okay, you know, like, it's, it's more challenges, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, Spoiler Guy says, if you look at the option, you can see multi-mouse. I did see that right here. This is why I asked if if it had uh, if it had multiplayer, uh, but then Smolder, but then Smolder Guy's confirmed that it didn't, so that's kind of a shame. Maybe he has a... Um, well, hang on. Maybe, what, about, what about just turn it on? Oh, wait, no, it's already on. It's already on by default. So, like, I can't see a way that I can... Uh, I can go into multiplayer. Does it unlock ever? So, maybe that's what it was. Anyway. Um, Spolder guy says, I would say the stuns that differ. Uh, why should you get stunned for differentiating amounts of time? Um, I worried about the stuns, actually. Because, like, it seems like once you get stunned... You can just get hammered and get re-stunned. And, like, it's like if you get stunned against an opponent who knows what he's doing and not this more or less shitty AI. Like, I'm not saying that the AI is necessarily shitty because, like, 
Well, it's 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 the the AI is starkly contrasted with the player's ability to make decisions well. And when like and when you're both in the same kind of machine, it seems like the AI is shitty because you're just so much more smarter than he is. Had that been a player, once someone gets stunned, like he he dies. He should, you know. And the only reason why you don't die in uh, in single player mode is because the AI isn't smart enough to take advantage of that fat. So if this was multiplayer, the stuns would have to go. They just would, it would, it, there's there's no reason for them to be in the game. They, they hurt the game quite a bit because like it basically turns like, like I don't mind a game having a positive feedback like a snowball effect, like StarCraft and Chess and Counter-Strike kind of have those things. And that doesn't necessarily, de uh, it doesn't necessarily defeat those games, but uh, in this case, the stun is way too long. It was like the very first stun that happens means the game is over. And that's like, that's an overwhelming snowball effect. So that would have to go if this was multiplayer. So, um, anyway, I think that is all that we can do for the day. Uh, special thanks to, uh... uh special thanks to Smoltergeist for suggesting Hammerfight in the, in the, in the first place. Uh, I don't know that I would have ever known about this game had you not suggested it. So I think it's very cool. Um, has some potential that I think it could have lived up to, um, as I as I discussed earlier. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. So Walter guys also says he just likes the menus where it's just like yeah, just get into the shop. Like that. I, I like that the yeah. You're right. You're right, Walter guys. The um, picking up the weapons was kind of awkward and weird. Um, I do like that there is a punching bag so you can test the damage of the weapons just so you know. Um, so that's kind of cool. But uh, other than that... So yeah. Anyway, I think that is going to be it for the stream. So thank you so much for stopping by, everybody. And thank you all out, out, out there in YouTube who can't make the stream, who are who do... Okay, like, I do occasionally get some people who watch the, the YouTube stream. Um, if you are a fan of game design and the like, um, and you have fans that you, or you have friends who are also fans of it, maybe make a suggestion that, like, if you want to see interesting game design commentary, uh, that's what I do here on the on the show. So make sure you tell all your buddies all about this. Anyway, I'm out for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by. And all you out there out in Twitch land, have the best of days. <laughs>